The thing about robotics is it comes from about four or five different angles. So it takes all kinds, right? You have the mechanical engineers who are like, oh God, I just want the easiest way to get this done. I don't yeah. want to touch this stupid mm-hmm. software mm-hmm. crap, right? And then you have like the electrical engineers who are like, I want to build this really awesome thing. And then somebody else has got to use it. How do I build an API to it? And then you have the software engineers who are like, I heard React is cool, but now I want to do robots and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like so you have all you have all 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 different aspects coming in from different directions. There's no one model person. There's no like skill set lesson like the toolkit, but maybe about the characteristics of the person that is trying to do this. I think the biggest barrier right now, fundamentally, is like a willingness to work in Linux. Everything just runs so much smoother. I think that's the biggest one. Not being intimidated by like a command line or you know, just that's probably the biggest barrier people have because that's kind of scary. Like that was scary for me. I learned a lot of like Linux stuff. It wasn't like I didn't have it around, but I primarily for years and years and years, I was like a Windows developer. And then mm-hmm. you're like, oh no, I'm going to switch over to being a, basically a full-time Linux developer. It took a little while. It was a little scary. It's a learning curve, but you are right. A lot of people are afraid of taking that step because it's just feel going out of their comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Uh, we forget that the all the operating systems become human interfaces and you are doing things a certain way and you have to rewire your way of thinking to be able to adapt the new thing. Well, that's why, and that's why I think a lot of people have a really hard time initially because, you know, once you understand where things came from, right, like the way that ROS is shaped is sort of dictated by the way that Linux is shaped. You're really coming up against two different learning curves. If you're willing to work through the first one, you'll kind of get the second one through the other thing, right? You understand that, oh, I just, you know, everything's going to be a command line call and I can string them together. And that, you know, it's not all like click here, click here, click here. It's all sort of text-based and in a terminal. And once you're comfortable with that, you can do a lot of stuff really, really quickly. There were a lot of folks hiring. Like practically everyone was like looking for someone. What do you think is the career path for a robots developer? Um, So you get started working in a company. Do you sort of see them jumping to one Ross company to another, or is that still not a thing where you build your career around Ross? Oh, I think it's certainly a thing. I mean, if you enjoy building robots, it will be a thing. You never want to be too locked into one thing. For a while, it was like, oh, you only do computer vision stuff. You only do that. No, I don't. I do all these other things, too. I don't want to, like, be pigeon, pigeonholed into this one thing. So I wouldn't say pigeonholing yourself is a good idea, but it's certainly worth learning. You know, maybe one week you're working on drones, next week you're doing like food robots, and you know, the next gig you get, you're doing space stuff. I mean, there's a wide, wide swath of things you can do. At the end of the day, Rust is really just like hardware interfaces, controls, sensor processing. It's the same three things, just mixed up in different ways every single time. Yeah, definitely. And um, I do see a lot of companies doing a lot of different things. So like the range, the... Space, medical, like exploration. Just from the exhibitors of the show, there was so many, so much diversity in there. Like, and then I can't just only imagine that the people that not even explore, like exhibiting, like it was even bigger than that. Well, I want to thank you for your time again and thank you for uh, helping put together a great Ross event. I know it's a team effort. We'll come, you know, we'll be in the US next year. Come next year. Oh yeah, for sure. We'll, we'll be at New Orleans. Yeah, or if you can't make it, just do one at your local area. And we'll be doing more of those soon with the mm-hmm. open robotics meetup thing that we sort of put together. Um, well, I'm, I'm easy to get a hold of. If you want to put together an event, <laughs> just, just message. I'll help you out. <laughs> I can at least give you a rundown. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. And I'll see you next time, maybe in New Orleans. Oh, I'll see you before. Yes, for sure. <laughs> All right, everyone. Bye. Bye.